Jodie Foster and Drax the Destroyer patch up criminals? Okay, why not? <laughs> Hotel Artemis is a movie about a nurse and an orderly that run a hotel-hospital combo for criminals. And what happens when you have multiple criminals in one place at odds with each other? There's a little more to it, but that's the basic plot line. This movie really reminds me of John Wick. Not the character John Wick so much, but the world that John Wick inhabits. I can really see this place as being something within that world. With the whole having to have special membership to get in and not everybody knows about it and it's a secret shadowy thing in front of everybody, it really reminded me of that. I don't really want to give away too much of the actual story to Hotel Artemis because that was one of the things I enjoyed about watching it is I really didn't know much about it. I knew it was a hotel slash hospital that criminals used and you got a bunch of criminals in one spot and something happens, but that's pretty much all I knew. And that made it a more enjoyable experience, not having any idea of what was around the next corner. There's a lot to like about this movie. It has some great performances. There's nobody that does a bad job. Jodie Foster and Dave Bautista do a fantastic job as the proprietors of the Hotel Artemis. And the handful of other characters that show up there are very well represented as well. Like I said, they're all good performances. Nobody's doing a bad job. The movie does a really good job of getting you invested in the characters that you're supposed to be invested in. That way later on when they end up in danger, you actually do care and there's something at stake. This is something that a lot of movies like this lack, but thankfully Hotel Artemis got it right. A lot of that is attributed to the character development that this movie allots to each of its characters. A great deal of this movie is a character piece. It's not wall-to-wall -wall action here. Really, with the exception of the end of the third act, there's not a lot of action in this movie. That's not a bad thing, it's still a really interesting movie. And it did lead to you caring more about these characters once that third act kicked off. You learn just enough about each of these characters to be invested in them. But because of that, the movie is a bit of a slow burn. I think a lot of people are going to go into this movie expecting something a lot more exciting, when that's just not the kind of movie this is. As I said, it's more character study. Now when things do kick into high gear in that third act, and the action does happen, it's really cool and really brutal. The payoff to this movie is very satisfying. And a lot of that does go back to the movie spending so much time letting you get to know these characters. So you actually care when said payoff happens. Speaking of the characters, they're all very interesting. The criminals and the Artemis employees alike. There's a certain character that's talked about a lot and hyped up throughout the first half of the movie. And when that character finally shows up, I was very surprised by the actor who plays said character. I won't spoil it, but this actor really just brought that character up a few more notches. And when this actor showed up as this character, I knew things were really about to get wild. Hotel Artemis tells an interesting, confined little story, and it does it very well. It's a little movie that's not trying to set up a franchise, destroy the weekend box office, or set the world on fire. It has an interesting little story, it tells it, and it tells it well. Overall, Hotel Artemis is a good time. I wouldn't necessarily say it's worth going out and buying, but it's definitely worth giving it a shot on Netflix. Give it a watch, I think you'll have a good time for the night. So there it is, guys, my review of Hotel Artemis. If you enjoyed and want more content like this, hit that subscribe button. It helps my little channel grow. If you liked what I had to say, give me a thumbs up. If not, let me know in the comments below why. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. You might want to buy some scented candles or something, because it smells like somebody died in here. They did. He's a medical professional. You see that badge? That means I'm a healthcare professional. Can you really argue with Drax the Destroyer? <laughs>